Tom Yamas joins us now. He's got the latest. That, the severe weather and that video The of video it. is yeah. completely wild. Good morning, yeah. guys. We have it for you this morning. The cleanup is underway after a devastating EF3 tornado tore through south-central Kansas. Take a look at this. This drone video capturing a rare glimpse of Friday's twister in the Wichita suburb of Andover. The images are stunning. You can see debris sucked into the air as the funnel forms. Seconds later, the tornado starts tearing through homes. The Weather Service says the twister packed winds of up to 165 miles per hour. And look at the damage right there. It was on the ground for 21 minutes. In all, more than 1,000 buildings were damaged in the area, and several people were hurt. Damn. Wow, I've yeah. never, you've seen a tornado, but yeah. never, ever During like the day that. Like that yeah. yeah. Dylan's tracking the threat of even more severe weather. She's in for out with a forced look at the forecast. Hey, Dylan, good morning. Good morning. I, I've never seen it like that, yeah. unless it's like a simulation, you know, where you're yeah. thinking about the dynamics of a tornado. It's like a blender, it's like a vacuum, all kind of happening at once. And unfortunately, we do have a chance of more severe storms that could trigger tornadoes later on today. We do have a lot of activity across. Across, uh, Nebraska, Kansas, stretching down into Oklahoma, where we do have a lot of cloud to ground lightning, but nothing too severe at this point. However, later on this afternoon, especially in this darker shade of orange, that's where we could see uh, the possibility of some tornadoes. Winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour or higher and very large hail, perhaps two inches or more in diameter. Tomorrow, the threat of severe storms shifts to the east. It's a lesser threat, a lesser chance of getting those tornadoes, but they uh, are still a risk. Uh, but it's more like the gusty winds over 60 miles per hour and the larger hail. Then on Wednesday, it jumps right back to the Oklahoma City area. So again on Wednesday, we're going to get that same zone, uh, perhaps seeing some of those uh, thunderstorms that could produce the tornadoes, the large hail and the damaging winds. It's all with this frontal system that's kind of wavering back and forth. So that's why we do have that area where we'll see the severe storms today. In the Northeast, we also have a couple of showers and back behind the storm system where the colder air is, we even have some snow showers in the higher elevations. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.